everybody. Hopefully everybody can hear me okay. I do have the camera further away, as you could tell, um, because I needed to display all of my pretties. Um, I've got some back here. And if you couldn't tell today, we're going to be talking about hats. I'm wearing my new witchy hat that I got. I didn't get to wear it for Halloween, so I figured, why not? And uh, my basic witch shirt. <laughs> Just to confuse you guys, because if you think, you know, it's still April, you're wrong. Obviously, it's October and Halloween time, which is the happiest of times. <laughs> Anyways, so I wanted to make a video about my hat collection. Now, first of all, you might think, what? Well, that's, that's a few hats. Honestly, I have more. Um, <laughs> but uh, recently, I've... This last week, I've been in organizing mode. I've been trying to organize all of all of the things. I mean, from paperwork to my crafting stuff, closets, the kitchen stuff. I've just been organizing it all. Um, when we moved in, we kind of just threw things wherever it would fit. Uh, so now I'm trying to actually make it make sense. <laughs> um, and I didn't really feel like dragging every single one of my hats out. I think the last count I did, I had over 50. Um, so yeah, and some of them are, you know, just like kind of yucky work hats that I will wear when I go mow the yard or something stupid like that. So I don't want to really put those on here. But these are some of my favorites that I have. Um, but yeah, before we get into that, though, uh, I want to say thank you for watching my videos. Um, I know there's a few of you that will watch all of my videos and I Truly appreciate that. It's, it's nice to know that I have a fan base, even though it's a small fan base. I still appreciate you. Um, and yeah, we did a giveaway and I'm going to be sending that book out to uh, my top fan, <laughs> Megan. Uh, so yeah. But I wanted to remind you to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And comment down below. Do you have any weird collections? Um, obviously, I don't know if hats are considered a weird collection, but I think the amount of hats I have is a weird collection. <laughs> um, also, Alice is here next to me trying to take a nap, so we'll see how well that goes. Um, and also, I've got my last verb bar that I haven't tried, the last flavor which is cookie butter. Um, I'm going to be trying more flavors eventually when they renew my subscription or whatever, however that works. Um, it's unfortunate that I could tell that they don't send you individuals of the other ones to try. You have to kind of buy the whole pack. So that, that kind of sucks. But um, so far I haven't had any complaints other than the Vanilla latte one, I would be kind of upset if I had the whole package of, to be honest. Um, but this is cookie butter. Again, remember these are um, the equivalent of a shot of espresso, but only 90 calories and no jitteriness. Um, I'm going to be putting the link down in the description if you want to try it. Uh, they have a starter bundle where you pick a flavor and then they send you a few samples. If you're trying to quit like energy drinks or anything like that, it's I would recommend doing this because um, energy drinks are duh. And lately what I've been doing with these is I'll have a cup of coffee in the morning and then I'll have one of these later in the afternoon. Um, usually if I try to drink another coffee, I get really jittery. So I've been using these and it's, it hasn't been giving me the jitters. So that's cool. I haven't had any coffee today because I knew I was doing this video. So here we go. tastes like a cookie. <laughs> it's got a weird, um, weird taste to it. Um, but it does taste good. And just so you know, these are gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. So if that's something that you, um, look at, it's not, not bad. All right. So why we're here. Why I'm wearing a witch hat. <laughs> I have a hat collection and I wanted to share it with you. Um, 
I have always liked hats ever since I was a kid. Um, and I started wearing, you know, more baseball caps in high school. And this is actually the oldest hat that I have at the moment. Um, I got rid of a lot of my hats in a previous relationship because he didn't like them. So that was a bad move on my part, but I think I have regained more hats. And so, yeah. Um, but this hat I've had since high school. It says, kiss me, I'm Irish and you're hot. <laughs> um, I actually wore this quite a bit in school. Uh, and I wore anything that was green in school. I think most of my wardrobe was green. So obviously this hat was in regular rotation, even though it was a St. Patrick's Day hat. But most of my clothes were St. Patrick's Day clothes, and they were in regular rotation. Um, but uh, I liked wearing hats in high school because most of my friends were much taller than me. Me standing at 5'2", that's not hard. But um, it was a way for me to hide because a lot of times what I used to do, and I still do it sometimes, but not so much. I would, you know, try to hide my face with my hair. Because I'm a shy person. And uh, I'm going to switch hats because that hat's actually kind of hot. This one's my favorite hat right now, if you couldn't tell. Um, but yeah, so I would, I would wear them because then I would be able to have my hair back. And I could hide from their faces. So if I was in kind of a bad mood or something, um, they, my thought process was they couldn't tell if I was wearing a hat. But, you know, sometimes friends are actually perceptive to that kind of stuff so most of the day I was chasing someone who stole my hat or something or other so yeah I I wear hats now as more of a confidence booster I don't know um you know some girls will wear you know a special kind of shoe or maybe a dress or something well I don't I'm not into shoes uh 90% of the time lately especially I'm barefoot um and clothes are just the devil right now. <laughs> so I, hats have never let me down. <laughs> um, you know, it's, if you gain a little bit of weight, hats still gonna fit you for the most part. Um, but yeah, so this is definitely my oldest hat that I have. Um, and also what me and my husband have been doing is whenever we go someplace, we will get a hat. So this is from our Texas trip. Um, this is from Ireland. We have some hats that we got when we were in Canada, but we weren't really in Canada. We were just at the airport. So I don't know if that really counts. Um, but yeah, and, uh, someone gave me this hat when I was pregnant. It says, Mommy, Mommin is my cardio, which I thought was funny. And my other favorite hat, I actually now have multiples of. <laughs> This is the original. This is one of the hats that um, I saved in my previous relationship because I bought it. And I, it was more, I never wore the, the, um, what are they called? Flat bills, snapbacks, whatever. Um, I never wore that kind of hat because I didn't think it looked right on me wearing it like this. But I like wearing these backwards. Um, but I bought this one because it's, I, IKTV, Internet Kill Television, is Charles Trippie's channel, which, if anybody knows me, he's my favorite YouTuber, has been for about 10 years now. Um, so, I bought this because, obviously, I wanted to support his channel, and it was pretty, and I wanted a hat, so I bought this. And then I've worn it quite a bit, and I don't know if you could tell, my husband just recently bought me a couple of these, so that way I had backups. Um... But it's kind of fading. Uh, it's looking a little sad. <laughs> but uh, this hat I wore to work tour uh, when we went and I met Simple Plan, which was really awesome. So you know, each of my hats has a memory. So that's kind of kind of cool. Um, and then here's another. I've got two of these. Uh, another Internet Kill TV hat. Um. Let's see this hat this hat says love bites which obviously i don't believe anymore because i'm married <laughs> but i bought this hat before um i met 
Chris, and I was stood up a couple of times on a date type of thing. So um, I bought this hat as a fine. You're going to stand me up. I'm going to look cute. Anyways. <laughs> so love bites. Thought that was kind of perfect for the timing. Um, let's see. But yeah. Oh, this is a, I think this hat you've seen in my, my old intro. I say old intro like I've been a pro at YouTube for years. Um, this hat Chris got me when we first started dating. And it says, go away. <laughs> and he actually bought me this hat uh, to go with the tickets that he bought me for going to Warp Tour. Um, he wanted me to wear this hat to Warp Tour, but um, I don't know if you could tell this, but it's kind of a big hat. <laughs> So uh, it kind of requires a certain amount of adjusting to actually make this hat look good. Um, let's see. I know, I'm showing you all the hats. And obviously this is the hat that we got at Warped Tour. Um, this is, my, <laughs> this is my, my Ouija beanie. I'm weird, I know, it's fine. And, uh, so yeah, so that's, I don't know, I just, I love my hats. Uh, I've got a gizmo hat. And it just, I can be whoever I want to be when I have these hats, you know. I can be a fake punk skater looking person, or a beanie wearing person, or I've even got some preppier hats. It's got my floppy hat. <laughs> um yeah I don't know sometimes I like how they look on me sometimes I'm like oh, it kind of looks like a farmer <laughs> um this is another one of my favorites purple fedora looking thing yeah I used to have fedoras like a lot more fedoras um and they had names <laughs> because that's who I am as a person um and a lot of people would make fun of me when I wore them, which was kind of annoying because, you know, for someone like me to have some sort of weird quirk like this, yeah, and then someone like, I was proud of that fedora, I was like, it took a lot for me to actually start wearing hats in public, um, especially going to high school, yeah, so then when people were making fun of me, or saying stuff like, um, I think the one that I got a lot was people thought I was trying to look like Michael Jackson in one of my fedoras. And uh, I was more trying to go more like a Dean Martin vibe. So nothing against Michael Jackson, but that those are two completely different fedoras, if you know what I mean. I know. So, I don't know. It just it, it took a lot of me to get the confidence to wear hats in public. And now it's like, I don't care. You don't like my hat, you don't have to like my hat. Um, but, uh, yeah, and I have, you know, obviously I was in banking for eight years, eight and a half years. Um, they don't let you wear hats there. Uh, so one of my goals was I want a job where I can wear a hat or I can dress in, you know, a weird costume if I want to. Like, I know. Um like, we went to Universal Studios, and I'm pointing because hat's over there in case you couldn't see it. When we went to Universal Studios, we went to um, the Chocolate Emporium, I think is what it's called. And it's, you know, a restaurant, chocolate shop type thing. And all of the, the waiters and whatnot were dressed in, like, a steampunk getup. And I just thought that was so cool. I'm like, man, that's a cool job to have. You get to dress up. Just to be goofy. And you get paid for it. So I was like, that was my goal. I want to be able to have a job someday where I can dress up and just be a goofball. So when I started the idea of making a channel, I'm like, oh, that'll be my thing. I'll wear my hats. So in case you were wondering, you know, why I decide to wear hats while I do my videos, that's why. I wanted to have a reason to wear all of my awesome hats. And, uh, I'm going to be, like I said, I'm in an organizing mode like crazy this week. Um, so I'm going to be actually 
getting these better organized in their little uh, cubby in the closet. So when I get that done, I'll show you if you're interested. Um, someone had mentioned me doing an organizing video. Um, if that's something that you're interested in, I'll be glad to show you my crazy way of organizing. Um, but yeah, so these are my hat collections. And in case you're wondering, Alice is getting her own hat collection. She's already got three, four hats now. So, um, and the coolest thing, and take this as you will, like whoever you meet in life, the fact that my husband and I share hats is just great to me. I mean, obviously, he's not going to wear my King Gizmo hat. <laughs> but, you know, um, he'll, I have a, it's actually out there. I have another Star Wars hat he'll wear. Um, we share a couple Ireland ones. I wear his Universal Studios hat. So it's like we share the hats. So the fact that I was in one relationship where it was like, no, you can't wear hats, you look ridiculous to, hey, can I borrow your hat? That actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> it's just amazing. So that's my hat collection, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I was going to do another air fryer one, but I'm still mad at it. Um, <laughs> I'm just, uh, uh, and by the way, I did, if you watch that other video, I'm going to put if you see an eye somewhere, it'll say something about air fryer video. Um, but I, uh, after I did that, the air fryer one, I put the mixture that I made for the apple fritters in the oven and, uh, tried doing that. And that just, that didn't come out right at all either. So I think it was something to do with the batter that I made. Um, but I still, I'm not convinced that the air fryer is all that it's cracked up to be. So if you know any recipes, let me know. Follow me on all the social media. So if you don't want to comment down in YouTube, comment on Facebook, comment on Instagram, comment on Twitter. I'm on all of the things, okay? Um, just look for random reads and you'll probably see my crazy face and my crazy hats. <laughs> but don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate uh, all the support and thumbs up, comments, do all the things, share, bell notification. Have a random day, everybody.